for some reason, the last couple of days, I've had a, um, two people, literally two people in the last two days, um, mentioned something about uh, audience size when I'm presenting. Uh, the first person was uh, inquiring as to whether or not I'm comfortable presenting in front of a group of, of 200 people. And uh, the other person today, um, I was just having a conversation with him and, uh, and he said, you know, how, how do you feel when you're presenting in front of, um, no, 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 in fact, he said, what, um, you know, what's the biggest audience you've presented in front of? And I kind of, it was weird because I've never really, well, maybe I have thought about this. I think I must have thought about this last year when I was doing Momentum, where we had 300, 300 probably about 360, 370 people in the room, slightly fewer this year, maybe about 330, 340. Um, but big enough so that, you know, especially last year with a long room, you couldn't actually see the back. You couldn't see everybody. You knew that they were there. You could feel the energy, um, but you couldn't see everybody. And kind of that was that was my first experience. And yeah, I guess I was conscious of that. And certainly uh, last year when I did it, it was something that was um, probably was something that was a, a factor in how calm and relaxed I felt much less so this year in January. I think I did a couple of vids about that around that time. Uh, it was a big old audience, uh, but I just felt super relaxed and, um, and, and felt like I connected with, with them as much as I would have done in a smaller audience. But it was just kind of weird that, uh, that a couple of people in the last couple of days had brought up the subject of um, bigger audiences, I guess on the assumption that it's harder, um, on the assumption that it's um, uh, somehow different um, or that I would be perhaps less comfortable speaking in front of a, a bigger audience which makes complete sense which makes complete sense and I'm, I'm not saying I'd feel completely confident and comfortable on a you know on a, on a huge stage like in a stadium or something like that but I'd, I'd give it a go I reckon I'd be okay <laughs> um, so uh, yeah it was just kind of uh, just strange and I'm wondering is it something I should be conscious of? Is it something I should? Is it something I should be more aware of? Is it something I should be, um, there I say, worrying about uh, doing a presentation in front of a bigger audience compared to a smaller audience? I know that there are factors such as connection, and you, know, you can't get as much eye contact with individuals if you've got a group of two hundred people, an audience of two hundred versus uh, you know seven or eight people in front of you. Um, but apart from that, it's um, I don't see there's much of a difference, not at all. Um, so that happened, and then um, the other thing that was uh, interesting today was after yesterday's kind of weird revelation that I have this thing about making phone calls um, with following up follow up phone calls um, unsolicited in a way, in the sense that uh, someone's not expecting to hear from me, even though I might have spoken in the past. I thought, well, you know what, sod it, I'm going to just do it, and I did it today. I phoned someone up, albeit I had to leave a voicemail because they weren't there. Um, that felt really good, <laughs> which was kind of this weird, this weird um, experience of doing something so simple and um, and mundane and uh, ordinary. Um, that I'm sure most people don't find a problem, uh, and um, kind of being aware that it's something that I have struggled with in the past, and I had this kind of belief that, well, they won't want to hear from me, or I'll be interrupting their day, or um, you know, they'll just be thinking, well, how can I brush him all brush him aside? How can I put him off? How can I let him down gently? And uh, the flip for me was to think, well, actually, you know, I have something of real value to offer. And I have a message, several messages to share that, that I believe really can make a difference. And me not getting in touch with somebody because I think there's a chance they might not be interested in, in what I have to say isn't doing anybody a, a service, the, the best service, certainly not myself, but also and the people who I really do want to help and the people I have a potential to help. So I got over myself um, and I made a call. So like a shame it was only a voicemail, but uh, I will try again. I'll try again on Friday. Um, and I did follow up with a, uh, an email as well. And uh, we'll see what comes of that. It'd be great if it got back to me because uh, that would really close the loop. Anyway, that's me today. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I've, I've, I've consolidated a little bit more on my list that I made yesterday at the last minute on what else I can do. Uh, to move things forward. It's not just what I can say I can do, but what I can actually do. So uh, it's all good. All good. I'll uh, be back again tomorrow with another update. Bye for now.